listen up everybody y'all remember this one right here in this picture that I did like uh, months ago like last year uh, about a mother killing her baby because of Facebook and uh, it came to my point it came to a point where I get a lot of motherfuckers saying the same shit you can't blame Facebook or the owner of Facebook well in today's society yes you fucking can you probably say no you can't no you can't yes you can if parents can blame rap music hip hop music because they're so they got some language in that kids don't need to be hearing if they can if the parents can blame video games like Grand Theft Auto Saints Row Halo so on and so forth in the video games because they're violent and if the parents can sit there and blame movies where it has sex and cussing and violence in it Yes, then you know where I'm going with this. Half the like you probably saying, well, you can't always blame them. Well, they get a small percentage of blame of blame in this. You know, it's like actually fifty-fifty with the blame. Fifty percent of the blame goes to these, goes to the movies, music, video games, whatever. Fifty percent comes from. 50% 50 of the blame comes from them. The other 50% is the parents, the people. Y'all can say, y'all go sit up and say, well, that was long ago. It still goes on today. It doesn't matter. The woman killed her baby, killed her baby because of Facebook. So Facebook gets 50% of the blame. Same is her getting 50% of the blame for killing her child so you really can't always defend Facebook and I've actually had people post fuck Facebook nah, 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 nah. and I'm going to actually show y'all some of the things that people I've actually had people write scriptures and all that but I will show you what people have said Just this. Mm, I told you Facebook will kill and, Farm, and Farmville isn't even that good I'm, there's like a hundred, look, a hundred and one thousand. That's on my see, my see, little junior three one. Oh, it's possible you can make a video without cussing it. No, forget that. I, yes, I can. I gotta cuss, cause that's how I get my fucking point across. It says, well, I totally agree with you that people words on the net will affect them, but it's not Facebook phone that she did it. It is Facebook phone. If you can blame TV shows, movies, and video games, and music for for violent sex and cussing, and you can blame the parents for letting their kids watch it, play it, and listen to it, it's 50-50 all around. Parents get 50% of the blame, so does Facebook. So this video game, so is other, because Facebook is so damn addicting. The incidents have happened over the last few years. I think from 2010 to 2012. How many incidents where people? It just it got even worse. It got worse when people left my. It got worse when it was on MySpace and it went to Facebook. It never stopped. It got worse on Facebook. So Facebook is to blame just as well as the parents are just just as well as the woman is and that's how it is you just can't isolate, take up for Facebook oh it's not, not no it's not no, no you can't blame Facebook what it happened in your family something like this happened the first thing you will say oh I blame Facebook for all that shit see that's kind of messed up you sit up there and, and you kissing ass to Mark Zuckerberg because he got money. Because he got a movie out. What? Okay, I had... Now, I like this question. What? Somebody please explain to me what do you mean this girl killed her baby over Facebook? I love this question. The reason why? Because this girl has got some common sense to ask this question. To ask a question like this. I've had few people ask that and actually reply to that saying that this is bullshit. Why would anybody kill their child over Facebook? He said, well, you're on Facebook. Like, yep, I, I don't do like they do. 
What the fuck are you kidding me over a stupid MF game, MFing game on Facebook? Is like for real? Like, are you kidding me over a stupid MFing game on Facebook? This is for real. Wow. Now I've heard it all. This is messed up. I'm telling you, when people hear this story, half the people that's not obsessed with fucking Facebook are actually just like, wow, I did not know that a website can get you to kill your own kids. They can actually make you kill your own kids. And it's getting to a point where people say, can't blame Facebook or the owner of Facebook. No one forced her to get online. So she obviously is addicted to the internet. Okay. Okay, I'll tell you this. Because I know I'm get some haters. If you're not addicted to the internet, if you're not addicted to Facebook or YouTube or Twitter or any other website, you wouldn't leave fucked up comments like this. You wouldn't leave comments like you're wrong, you can't blame Facebook. You wouldn't leave comments like that if you're not obsessed with them. If you're not obsessed with them, you wouldn't leave comments like this. You leave comments like like this woman said. What the fuck you kidding me? Now that's a person that's not addicted to the internet. Cause if you get a response like it, and it was like two days ago. If you get a response like this, like, oh my god, like this is the first time I ever heard this shit. What the fuck? That's telling you that's real people right there because they are not obsessed with it this is motherfuckers that are so too damn obsessed with it and I actually posted I actually look, I actually said yes you can blame Facebook it's just the same as people blaming rap music video games it's the same thing so people can't pull that you can't blame Facebook bullshit Facebook can get blamed just as well at rappers music in for real okay you can you said blame the donut like this dude was not blame the donut well you kind of can blame the donuts because donuts are good but I don't eat donuts like you used to damn you're so such a stupid fuck this is not even for me this is from two other guys like they're fighting over it one good one I stand firm to the fact that we have free will no one's but I tell you I tell you this, I, I tell you this, it doesn't matter, it, it, like for real, it doesn't matter but this, out of all the shit I've read on just that one video, 191,000 people actually watched this video and bitched and complained about it, actually 191,973 people, but it's like this, it's like this, does it matter if it's Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, so on and so forth fits right in there with the rest of the shit that gets blamed? Like rappers catch a lot of hell from parents. Yin Yang Twins was got caught hell. And they ain't went on Dr. Phil. They say, well, you watch Dr. Phil out. Like, yeah, I do. But, he, uh, but that was on there. And they said this, you can't blame, you can't blame us all, you can't blame, give us the full blame for this, for what kids do. You got to blame yourself too because you let us, let them listen to us. I didn't make them listen to, to us, you let them listen to us. It's just the same thing. People got to take responsibility for their actions. You need to stop trying to take up for Facebook. And stop trying to take up for uh, dumb ass things like Twitter. Twitter. I am on Twitter, but I don't do the same thing as dumb asses on Twitter. Same with YouTube. I do not do the same thing as the people on YouTube. Yeah, I play the games, but I know when to stop. And it's fucked up that people say, oh, hey, you always on YouTube. Yeah, just to promote my shit, just to get well, one thing is to promote my shit, and the second thing is to teach y'all something. That you don't need to be sitting up on Facebook all damn day, playing these fucking games, and when your child needs you, you say fuck off, because there's been parents across the country, across the world, that have did this. I've had some friends that did this. They say, fuck you, I'm playing Facebook. 
but this woman took a little bit too far and say, I'm going to kill my baby because my baby don't need to live while I'm playing Facebook. But the first thing y'all, like this woman's in jail. This woman in jail is in jail. And y'all taking up for Facebook. Why ain't now when y'all taking up for this woman? It, it, it shows you how much of of a dumbass the world can, of, it, it's much, uh, it's just, it's, it's funny how dumb the people can get because they take up for Facebook instead of this woman kid, taking up for this woman. They don't think about, okay, why don't we take up for this woman instead of a fucking bullshit site that I can always delete, deactivate my account and move on. Just turn off my internet, just take, shut off my computer, take it apart and sell the computer to some shop. They won't. They don't want to because they need their fucking Facebook. They need their Twitter. They need their YouTube. They need their bullshit. They need their chat roulette. They need their Cam Fuse or Cam Four or Chatter Bay. That's that's what it's U uh, R, but it's not Bay like B A I T. It's B A T E. Okay. You say how you know that? Yeah, because when you say Bay, you just looking up fishing bait, but it is what it is things like this need to get half the blame same as the people that goes on it the same as the people who allow the kids to go on the same as the people same as the people who gets addicted to it it's just the same you cannot sit up there and say Facebook didn't have shit to do with it it's 50% of blame to Facebook that means just as well as 50% goes to Mark Zuckerberg or whatever how you spell his name is it's the same shit you can sit there and say no it's not if it's not the same shit parents need to quit blaming rappers quit blaming video games quit blaming movies quit blaming TV shows quit blaming these people that makes money off of music I'm for, I'm for music, movies, TV shows, and video games. Stop blaming them. If you cannot, if the parents cannot stop blaming them, if if people cannot stop blaming them, then I won't blame. If 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 parents won't won't blame the all these video games music and all that if parents don't blame them then I won't blame Facebook for this woman killing her baby for her. That's, that's how it is because one thing is this woman did kill her Facebook in the name uh, in the love of Facebook for the love of Facebook as it that is Facebook that addicting where people kiss their own fucking kids over and then people want to take up for the site oh it's not her fault so if Mark Zuckerberg said kill this kill somebody y'all niggas would jump to it I'm, I'm sorry not to say the n word but for real though if Mark Zuckerberg sent the video to everybody's profile on Facebook saying go kill somebody y'all would jump to it and that's how it is People get so addictive on these chat sites and so addictive on on on, on these social broadcasting sites, uh, social networking sites, everywhere. And they get and, and, and it's fucked up. See, when when the people when the kids started committing suicide on Facebook, not Facebook, but MySpace. Oh, y'all was pissed as hell and ready to blow up MySpace like a motherfucker. But when it came to MySpace, oh, oh, yeah, you can't blame Facebook for all the, you can't blame Facebook. What's the difference between blaming MySpace for kids committing suicide to Facebook and teens committing suicide? What's the difference? Nothing. There's no difference. It's the same shit all around. If it's right in that, it's, Facebook fits right in that entertainment shit. If it's right there, that you, that the American people get so wrapped up in Facebook and Twitter and YouTube and so on and so forth, or Google Plus, 
look even Google Plus going to hit it off and it's going to be the same damn thing another teenager committing suicide or another person killing their kid because they're so addicted to the website that y'all going to start taking up taking up for these sites on Facebook if Mark Zuckerberg killed five fucking people today with the sh sawed off shotgun y'all motherfuckers be posting his bond and kissing his ass it's just the same. You cannot sit up there and say Facebook is not the blame. It is the blame to it. It is a look. It is a because one thing is people today starting to see these websites as a murder weapon. No, it's not. No, it's not. How many times have you heard heard on the news that a kid commits suicide because that was cyberbullied through Facebook or MySpace or Twitter? A lot, and that's too damn many. It is getting to a point where, getting to a point where, they're gonna start making webs sites like Facebook, MySpace, Twitter a fucking weapon. They're gonna look at it and label it as a weapon because kids are killing themselves because of the site. And y'all won't care, because y'all too damn dead. It's not a weapon. Tell it to the dead kids that committed suicide. Tell it to their families. Tell it to their friends and families that, oh, it's not a weapon. Oh, your child deserved to die for being our faith. Y'all just dirty. Y'all just evil. You, it's Like I said earlier, you can write shit saying, you can write, this is how, I'm going to tell you this, this is how you know. I'm full of shit. If I'm full of shit, people will be writing. You're right. Now, actually, this how you, this how you tell that I'm not lying about this shit. Because if I start getting comments like, "Oh, you can't blame Facebook or Twitter or YouTube," it shows I'm not lying. That people are that people are saying that I'm telling the truth because that's all they're doing. They taking up for the website that people are so addicted to. The people who are addicted to these sites are the ones who are gonna be taking up for these sites. You're gonna see one you're gonna see people taking up for Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Google Plus, Chatterbay, Camfuse, Cam4, Blog TV, uh, Stick Cam, all of that shit. When you start taking up for a website, you know you're addicted to it. When you take up for a website, you know I'm telling the truth. If you take up for a website, you know that they, that Facebook is 50% of the blame for this woman killing her child. Because it's, because one thing is you cannot sit there and say, you cannot sit there and say, no, it doesn't make, it, you can't blame it. It is to blame, just as well as, to just as well as back in the day when we listened to N.W.A. say "fuck the police," what happened? Kids went out and killed police officers. When rap, when gangster music was out, what happened? Teenage kids would go out and kill police, kill each other, and all that, just because of a song that was sung by the N.W.A., Snoop Dogg, Dr. Dre, Tupac. Biggie Smalls or Ice Cube is, and they'll do it same as when kids when Grand Theft Auto came out for PS2 what happened kids was killing kids was killing uh, killing police officers there was a kid that was 18 years old walked up to a police officer shot him, grabbed his gun and shot him thinking he was going to get money and he got arrested now he's got life in prison it's just the same you cannot sit up and say Facebook is not the blame it's got 50% of the blame and that's how it is 50 fucking percent of the blame and I'm tired of people sitting up there taking up for these people for these sites it's the same as where same as where when women blame like it's the same as where people buying products off the TV and they find it and and the product they buy doesn't work. 
that's what I'm, that's all I'm saying. It is just this. It is just. This, it just pisses me off that people who sit up here take up the website. Like, are you like for it to me? I think people get so upset, so obsessive, so obsessive. I don't get it. Why I get so obsessive with 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 this shit? And 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 that's how it is, man. I just I just don't get it. I just paused about it. As long as I sat here on this earth, man. Because when I was, when I tell you this, long when I was a kid. The games we had, what we what we have, Sonic and Mario Brothers. We didn't have Grand Theft Auto. We had Sonic and Mario Brothers. Those were the two most popular games back when I was a kid. You talking about, like for real though? Like we used to play uh, uh, Super Mario Brothers, Super Mario Brothers Two, Super Mario Brothers Three, Mike Tyson Punch Out. Sonic the Hedgehog, Sonic 2, Sonic 3, Sonic Pemba. You didn't never see none of us putting on blue overalls with the red shirt, with the red hat, with the white gloves, and an M on our hat with some damn brown shoes, brown plumber shoes, thinking we could shoot fireballs out of our mouths or shit, or thinking we could jump on turtles and get money. Oh, or think of we can paint ourselves blue and put on some red shoes with the white stripes on the thing we can run fast as a motherfucker or we didn't ever sit on there put on boxing gloves thinking we can take on Mike Tyson but games and TVs and all this have getting to the point where kids are gonna see this kids are gonna do what's on TV they're gonna copy everything that's in, a, that's in music that's on TV that's in a movie that's on a video game and that's how it is. You cannot sit there and say, well, you can't blame Facebook. Yes, the fuck you can. Same as anything else. Y'all can sit and say, you need to stop saying the same thing. I'm not going to say the same thing until motherfuckers realize something. That it is what it is for a reason. This is, like I said, this is how you, I know people are so, are, this is how I know that people are taking up for Facebook or taking up for web, for chat sites. Or websites, or whatever, social broadcast network, social media, whatever. Like, this is how you know I'm telling the truth when they start taking up for it, saying, Y'all, you ground for it. You need to burn the hair. You stupid as shit. And you know, I'm telling the truth. You know, I'm right. They are 50% of the blame. Not me, but the site is. See what I'm saying? That means you're addictive too. You are addicted to sites like Facebook, MySpace, YouTube, Twitter. All these other sites, you're addicted because only a person that's addicted to a to a website like Facebook would take up for it, and that's how it is. You cannot say I'm not addicted to it. Then why take up for it? Then why take up for it? See, that's the question they ain't gonna ask, or they gonna try to go around the question, ask answer another question, or ask or ask this question with the question. Why take up for it? Then they, and that's how it is. Do not sit up and take take up for a site like take up for a site like this. If you can find a, I'm telling you, there's been many cases where people lost their jobs because of Facebook. Lost their jobs. Everybody heard on the news that these people at your job wants to wants to log into your fucking Facebook account just to see what you do. If they ain't, if your employers ain't looking your name up on Facebook to see what the fuck you're doing on it, then what? That's all it is, man. These websites are, are getting, uh, I just don't get it, man. I sit up here and I'm watching this shit, and all y'all do is take up for sites like this, and it's getting to a point where, like, I'm ready for the government just to pull the fucking plug on the internet and say, fuck it, we're going to cut our losses, 
less like yes less to yank it because the American people don't need this much power or this much shit in their lives where they were killing their own kids because when I was a kid we didn't bully each other on the internet what we do we was fighting in school we were just beating each other asses we, we ain't sit up and had no Facebook or MySpace I'm only 27 we never sit there and fought over Facebook or or MySpace we fall face to face where they can see us that's what you call a person. That's what you call a motherfucker right there. I not just don't get it, man. I just don't get it. People taking up for a site that curses families by people committing suicide or people killing their own child because they're so addictive to it or whatever. And y'all motherfuckers want to cry a river. Cry, cry, cry me a motherfucking river if you want to kiss their ass. I'm telling you, man. Stop kissing Mark Zuckerberg's ass, man. Grow the fuck up. He is not going to pay you shit for being on the site. That's all I'm saying. That's all it is. Y'all need to stop just kissing ass up to Mark Zuckerberg and shit and taking up. If you got a fucking life, if you got a fucking brain in that head, why don't y'all do yourself a fucking favor and do your kids a favor, do your family a favor. Get off the, turn the computer off, unplug your, unplug your computer and Cut off your internet and sell your computer and spend all your time with your family because your family is more important than a piece of shit called Facebook. I'm not even on it 20, like I get on it for one one hour or an hour and 30 minutes and that's it, I'm gone. And I'm spending time with family. I don't got time to be spending time on Facebook because I know Mark Zuckerberg is not going to sit there and give me no fucking money. Unless if he wants me to be the face of uh, Facebook, that's how it is. I, I, I'd be the face of Facebook and pay me all the damn money he wants. But that's all I'm saying, man. Be good. We gotta, uh, I'm just saying, never take up for something so petty. I feel like right now people still taking up for Zimmerman. Okay, let's take up for Zimmerman. Trayvon's the murder. See what I'm saying? Y'all take up the wrong, people take up for the wrong set of people or the wrong set of things. Grow up. Stop taking, stop taking up for websites like this. Take care of your kids. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been Afro motherfucking J-O-E. Follow me on Twitter at Afro Joe the Wookie if y'all got some fucking common sense. And subscribe to my look up in the corner it says, where it says CeeLo Jr. Look next to it, hit subscribe. Or look up, it says CeeLo Jr. 3 or CeeLo Jr. 2, it says subscribe right next to name. And that's what you need to do. Not need to do, but if you want to do it, hey, just subscribe. Tell me what you think about this topic instead of me. If, like I said, this is how I'm telling, this is how I know when. I'm telling the truth, and this is how what people know that I'm telling the truth. When you leave comments still saying that you are, that you're leaving comments saying Facebook, you can't blame Facebook or Mark Zuckerberg, then you know I'm telling the truth because there ain't no way in hell you cannot blame Facebook if a parent can blame rappers for their music. This has been Afro Joe, telling like it is. If you don't like it, kiss my ass and take your shit on some hell. If you do like what I got to say, leave a video comment or a comment. I mean, a video response or a comment. Holla at a Wookiee. <laughs>